What would make gore role-playing compelling for those that have not read the novels? It's a bit of an insidious idea, this one, isn't it? That every game needs to be for everyone, um, when it absolutely doesn't, <laughs> um, if, if you really think about it. Um, gore is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. It has a certain unfair reputation, um, I would say, that seems to miss out on the idea that it's supposed to be, you know, fantasy. That's more of a science fantasy, planetary romance sort of thing. Leaving aside the very obvious aspect of gore in that it appeals to kinky people, who like male dom fantasies which mostly seems to be women to be honest um leaving that aside it is a compelling and interesting world the world building is very interesting and very good the the world hangs together so long as you accept the central sort of premises of the whole thing um which do seem a little bit old-fashioned but there are ways of doing it that work if people will buy it and play a barsoom rpg then largely they should be able to play a gore rpg and you can emphasize that planetary romance side or you can emphasize a sort of conspiracy side to it where it interacts with earth in the modern world and so on but to me outside the the kink aspects which can be awkward at the table let's be fair what's interesting to me is the intrigue and the romance and the the high adventure um the weird science um the cultures on gore are ones that have been transplanted from earth at some point in earth's history and then placed on this other world uh, which is run by these sort of uh, alien ant like beings called the priest kings um, who maintain humanity in a kind of state of nature that preserves these uh, weird older cultures so there is a mongol analog sort of culture wandering the plains in gigantic wagons there is a Rome analogue, there is a Greece analogue, there is a feudal Japan analogue, and, and so on. And so it can be a way of indulging people's interest in history and classical cultures and historical cultures as well. So acknowledging the fact that not every game has to be for everyone, which is important, <laughs> I think, um, Getting, getting past that and past the, the kink side of it, I think it should be of interest to people who are interested in historical civilizations. You know, um, Gaul, ancient Gaul, uh, ancient Greece, Rome, um, you know, feudal Japan, um, and, and others. There are plenty of other cultures. There's a sort of medieval um so pre-islam sort of sort of culture down in the deserts and so on so that there, there is a lot to recommend it uh besides the kink besides the the sexiness um besides the philosophy uh if you will it can be enjoyed purely as a straightforward sort of planetary a romance swashbuckling adventure as well you know and you can glaze over or fade to black the things that that make you uncomfortable or seem a bit weird at, at the table but it yeah it's not for everyone it doesn't have to appeal to everyone but i think it has a broader broader appeal than people give it credit for <laughs>